Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Grade Academy's lecture series on real analysis. This is the third lecture in the series. And this lecture is based on the concept of fields in mathematics in general and in real analysis in particular. So in today's lecture, we are going to define what a field is in mathematics and we are going to have some examples of fields. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be a part of this and many more lecture series on mathematics. So let's get started. A field is basically a set with two operations, addition and multiplication defined on it. A set F with two operations addition and multiplication is called a field if it satisfies the following exams. So a field has two operations defined on it, addition and multiplication. And it satisfies certain axioms based on addition and multiplication. So, what are these axioms? First, let us have a look on addition axioms. So, what are addition axioms that a field has to satisfy? The first addition axiom is for all elements x and y belonging to f, their sum x plus y also belongs to f. So this is called closure property of addition. That is for any two elements belonging to f, their sum also belongs to f. So this is called closure property of addition. In the second axiom is for all elements x and y belonging to f, x plus y is equal to y plus x. So this means that addition is commutative in F. So this is called commutative property of addition. And the third addition axiom is for all elements x y and z belonging to f. So suppose x, y and z are any three elements in f, x plus y plus z is equal to x plus y plus z. So this is the associative property of addition. So associative property. And the fourth axiom is for all 
the elements x belonging to f there exists an element 0 belonging to f say that zero plus x or x plus zero is equal to x and that is called additive identity. So zero is additive identity. So this is additive identity property. And the fifth axiom of addition is that for every element x belonging to f there exists an element negative x belonging to f such that negative x plus x or x plus negative x in any order there is equal to 0 and negative x is called the additive inverse of x. So, this is additive inverse property. So, in a field these are the addition axioms that have to be followed. So, if you recall the definition of a group in mathematics, which of these axioms satisfy the definition of a group. So, closure property, associative property, additive identity property, and additive inverse property. As you know, that all these properties are basically the requirements for a group and if it has an additional property of commutativity this then this is called a commutative group. So, we can say that a field is a commutative group or abelian group with respect to addition. So, F is commutative or abelian group with respect to addition. So, a field is a set F with two operations addition and multiplication and these are the addition axioms that a set that the set has to follow to be a field. Now let us talk about the multiplication axioms. So, the multiplication in a field has to satisfy the following axioms. The first multiplication axiom M1 is that for all. So, this is the symbol for all. For all x and y belong to f, their product xy also belongs to f. So, this is called closure property, closure property of multiplication. So, for any two elements in F, their product also belongs to F. So, this is closure property of multiplication. And the second multiplication axiom is that for all 
elements x y belonging to f x y equals y x there is the product is commutative so this is commutative property so commutative property of multiplication and the third multiplication axiom is so for all x y and z belonging to f x y z is equal to x times y z so this is called so it means if we have a product of three numbers then the order of multiplication is not important so this is called the associative property of multiplication and the fourth multiplication axiom is that for all x belonging to f there exists an element 1 belonging to f such that 1 times x or x times 1 is equal to x here one is called the multiplicative identity and this axiom is called multiplicative identity axiom multiplicative identity and the last our fifth multiplication axiom is for every x belonging to f there exists an element 1 over x belonging to f such that x times 1 over x or 1 over x times x is equal to 1 so this is called multiplicative inverse so 1 over x is the multiplicative inverse of x so this is multiplicative inverse property multiplicative inverse or reciprocal property so if you again recall the concept of group we can see that these are also the axioms for an abelian or commutative group with respect to multiplication so it means f is also so f is also an abelian or commutative group commutative group with respect to multiplication now let us discuss the third criteria for a set to be a field and that is distributive law for any elements x y and z belonging to f x times y plus z is equal to x y plus y z so this is the distributive law this says that multiplication is distributive over addition so in a field multiplication is 
distributive over addition. This could also be written as y times x plus z is equal to x y plus y z. So this is distributive law. So a field is a set which satisfies addition axioms, multiplication axioms, and distributive law. So a field is a set F with two operations. addition and multiplication which satisfies addition exams We call addition axioms is a multiplication axioms M and distributive law. Which is D. So a field is a set which satisfies A, M, and D. So it has basically three criteria: addition, multiplication, and division. So we have seen that a field is a set which is an abelian group with respect to addition, abelian or commutative group with respect to multiplication, and it has an additional property that it obeys distributive law. So we can also define a field as a set F with addition. And multiplication is called a field if number one F is an abelian group. Or commutative group with respect to addition and number two F is an abelian group or commutative group. With respect to multiplication, and the third requirement is that F obeys distributive law. So any set with these three properties is called a field. So now we are going to have some examples of sets and identify whether they are fields or not.
so we check the following sets for fields and the first set is the set of natural numbers n so is this a field is the set of natural numbers doesn't have any negative numbers or zero so this is not a group with respect to addition so not a group with respect to addition the set of natural numbers is not a field and the second example the set of integers z so is this a field the set of integers does have negative numbers and zero so it is an abelian group with respect to addition but it doesn't have fractions so it is not an abelian group with respect to multiplication so this is not a field so this is not a group with respect to multiplication so hence this is not a field and how about the set of rational numbers q so the set of rational numbers has all negative numbers zero fractions so this is a field so q the set of rational number is Okay. And the set of real numbers are so this is also a field. Similarly. the set of complex numbers c so this is also a field so in today's lecture we talked about fields we learned that a set with two operations addition and multiplication defined on it is a field if it satisfies addition axioms that is it is an abelian group with respect to addition in the secondly multiplication axioms or an abelian group with respect to multiplication and thirdly it obeys distributive law and then we saw that the set of rational numbers the set of real numbers and the set of complex numbers are fields so with this we come to the end of today's lecture so in the next lecture we will discuss some theorems based on the properties of fields so until next lecture have a nice time